In this video, I want to talk about when you would use the no VAT tax rate in zero. Okay, so the first instance you would use this is, is if you are a non-VAT registered business. So in the UK, the threshold currently is £85,000. So if you're a small business, and your sales are less than £85,000, the chances are that you will not be VAT registered. So if you're not VAT registered, all your transactions in Xero would be marked as no VAT. Now, when you set up your Xero account, you would go to accounting, you would go to advanced, and then you choose your financial settings. And under the VAT scheme, it would be selected as none. When you make that choice, then automatically all of your accounts on your chart of accounts will have a tax rate of no VAT. So what about the other times when no VAT would be applicable? So this time I'm talking about you are a VAT registered business. So when you have income, the chances are that it will have VAT. But there might be occasions when you have income in your business that is classed as outside the scope of VAT. And that's when you would use the tax rate, no VAT. So here are some examples of income. If you paid money into your business, if you received a loan in your business, or if you had an insurance claim, these items would be classed as no VAT in zero. So I would expect that these occasions will be very rare. What about the other side? What about the purchases, the expenses in your business? Well, I would expect there will be some more occasions here when your transactions are outside the scope of VAT. So the way I think about it is if it's a transaction that's got nothing to do with VAT. So an example is wages and salaries. When I talk about wages and salaries, I would go, well, what's that got to do with VAT? And because you think like that, the answer is it's got nothing to do with VAT. It's outside the scope. So it would be an occasion when you're using the no VAT. So wages and salaries, also PAYE and national insurance. Payments out of the business to yourself. So if you're a limited company, dividend payments to shareholders. If you're a sole trader, if you're taking drawings out of the business, nothing to do with VAT. So you would choose the option, the tax rate in zero, no VAT. And likewise, on the sales side, we spoke about loans. So if your business paid out a loan, again, that would be no VAT. So it will be rare as a VAT registered business when you use no VAT. That's similar to if you were using Sage rather than zero, it's the T9 code. Now you might ask, what about if you're a registered business, but you receive goods, you receive services from a supplier who's not VAT registered? Well, that is a different scenario and I'm going to talk about that in another video. But hopefully this video has explained to you when to use the no VAT option. As always, if you like my videos, please let me know that you like them. And why don't you subscribe to the channel so you get notified when new videos are uploaded each week. Until next time, happy zeroing.